This is uh, Kicker Golf Booth 2013 PGA Show. And I know I started the last one with the same shot last year. So we haven't changed much. <laughs> haven't changed much. Uh, so, got my pal James Lepp here. Uh, you might know him from his uh, runner up finish in Big, Gra Big Break Greenbrier. It's a tongue twister. Yeah, well, when you're as tired as I am right now, <laughs> I'm sure you're pretty tired too. Um, all right, James, well, let's talk about some, uh, some of your new um, footwear. Sure. And then after that, we're going to go look at some apparel. You bet, yeah. So the main new thing is the apparel, the men's apparel that we do have coming out this year, which we haven't done before, but we'll look at that later. Um, for the shoes this year, one thing we did last year, we had a wingtip golf shoe. We kind of wanted to embrace the history of golf with so many other manufacturers entering the street golf shoe market. Yes. A lot of them have kind of forgotten about like what golf is all about, and even we kind of forgot about it when we started because we wanted to be different a little bit. But now that everybody's entered it and starting to do very similar things, we wanted to come out with something that actually embraced the history of golf. So we have a, a saddle shoe this year. Last year was a wingtip. This year is a pretty cool and stylish saddle. It's a very clean shoe, very simple. It has our standard outsole, which is just a kicker diacon embedded spike system. The spikes are built right in. It's built for comfort and style, but we never ignore the uh, performance attributes. Two-year waterproof. This is our premium shoe for 2013. Um, and then going forward, which is similar to last year, is our Tour Pro model. Last year was a Tour Class, it's a Tour Pro. Just some updates to the upper. Uh, One-year waterproof, and it has a really cool traction system called Vector Board, which is built specifically for the swing. So this is more of our technical shoe. Uh, you're wearing this for performance. This also has an athletic look. This is more the class and uh, cool style look we have up. So, just a, a, a question on, on the development of the shoes. I mean, what's the process? How long does it take? How many ideas get thrown out before you run with one? And, you know, then from, from that initial concept to, to retail, what, what's that process? How long does it take? It's a long process. It's takes over a year. Um, when we're coming up with a new product, it can take even more, and we'll go through quite, uh, quite a few steps of prototyping and sampling. Sometimes it can look great on the computer. You make a prototype, and it looks nothing like what you envisioned, and you can almost decide there that you're scrapping it. I, I think I've seen a couple of those at the show. Yeah, you know, or maybe they kept like, going oh, with yeah. it. We've yeah. had shoes like that too, where we worked really hard to try to get it to a point where it's acceptable, but you can never fully change it to get it to a point where it's powerful. So you kind of know in that first prototype what you have. And sometimes the prototype comes back and you're like, oh, this is better than I thought, and you know you can run with it. Sometimes it's nothing that you envisioned it looking like, and you pretty much should just abandon ship then. Eject. Um, yeah, eject. Um, but you get better as, as you go on. You know what can sort of work, what materials and panels can work, and there's always tweaks you're going to make even to a good shoe starting out. Um, but it all starts in the computer, and you, can, you have a good idea of what will work, but you, you never really know for sure until you see the first prototype. You're, I, I assume you have some designers that you work with, either in-house or farmed out, that you come to them with an idea and you say, this is what I want to do. Do they, do they sometimes look at you like you are a ghost, like you want to do what? You know, I mean, it's tricky because you 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 never really get an idea out of nothing. You take inspiration from different shoes that are out there, and then you try to combine in something that is unique and original. Um, and sometimes when you combine two good ideas and you think you'll have a greater idea, it actually goes the other way and it doesn't work at all. So you definitely will get those looks like I see what you're saying, but <laughs> it won't work. And then that's when the prototype comes. You're like, yeah, you're right. That doesn't work. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. All right. So uh, we're going to stop for a second, and we're gonna, then we're going to go look at the apparel side of things for Kicker, and can't wait to see it. 